Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the circus. My name, of course, is Nareev, and today we've got a special video about the Dark Moon Fair. Now, for a lot of you guys, um, especially if you're an older, more veteran player like myself, uh, you guys kind of stopped going to the Dark Moon Fair because, you know, it's it's largely useless to most people. Um, but they've actually added a whole lot of stuff to the Dark Moon Fair, uh, some secret achievements, some cool little toys, and uh, the most important thing, profession stuff, is still there. So uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it, because I don't really want to sit here and monologue anymore. Now I realize for most of you guys, this is going to be a bunch of common knowledge, and you guys are going to know most, if not realistically, some of you might know all of this already. Um, however, there's still that player base that is either new, or like I said, there's a lot of veterans out there that just quit coming here uh, because it just it, it became monotonous and repetitive and no reason to do it, so everybody just kind of stopped coming here. Um, even though they added a whole bunch of new stuff, right? And so it's it's, I'm sorry if a lot of this is kind of repetitive information for you and you've already heard it before but I still feel like it's an important thing for people to know so obviously everybody knows about the actual fair rides and everything um, so I'm not really gonna delve too much into the actual fair rides themselves and like the getting of the tickets and all that because I feel like that's pretty much common knowledge I'll just do a cursory comment for those of you that don't know um, you can go to the ticket booth Thing right here you can buy yourself some tickets um, and then you can do the fair rides to earn um, actual tickets that you can buy like the mounts and whatnot with um, most if not all of the actual like fair rides like the cannonball thing and whatnot um, are a daily so you can do them once a day the other fair ride that I am going to mention is this one right here because for anybody that does not know this little carousel that I'm standing right in front of doesn't just increase experience, but it increases reputation gain as well. So that makes it so both experience and reputation gain are gained quicker, which means that if you're leveling really anything, you may as well just stop by here, grab that quick, uh, what is it, like a 10% buff and be on your way because that, uh, you know, it can make a difference. So let's just start with the beginning. Right out the gate, one of the most important functions of the Dark Moon Fair, and something that I strongly encourage that everybody take advantage of, is the profession quests. Now, what these are is they're going to be a quest that requires you to go around, uh, usually you just go around the Dark Moon Fair and pick up a few items, and the reason why this is important is because you gain plus five to whatever profession skill you're working on. So me personally, I have like mining and blacksmithing. It's going to require me to go around and mine a few little things and pick up some scraps, and I'm going to gain five levels to both of those professions. And let me tell you, right now, with my professions, here's my blacksmithing, it's at 755. It is a tricky bitch to level your professions. And so I strongly encourage you guys to, if you're over that 700 mark, you're gonna hit that plateau where you're just not gaining levels anymore, this is how you're gonna get levels. This is gonna give you a quick, easy five levels. So for anybody that's a completionist and likes their professions done, may as well come here and check it out. With your Dark Moon tickets, which you can get through um, in the auction house. There's going to be some items that you can buy, like the, um, you know, the fallen banners and stuff of the alliance, or you know, just there's there's a whole bunch of little blue items that you can get uh, that give you tickets. And then you can also do the dailies here to get more tickets. And with those tickets, you can buy um, different BOAs, BOA upgrades. You can buy mounts and pets. Um, over at this vendor, there's actually some new pets um well new to me anyway because i haven't been here in a long time um and then like the dark moon cub and everything uh if you want to make some quick cash i will say the dark moon cub is probably the easiest one to sell because it's most people need it for the uh, crazy cat lady achievement usually every time i come to the dark moon fair i usually pick one up uh just because like i said you can sell them for probably up to 12k on most servers you know, for the sake of uh, the video, I feel obligated to henceforth, while I'm making this, ride my Dark Moon Bear because, holy shit, guys, come on. What kind of amazing mount is this? It dances. It fucking dances. That's too cute to boot. So the first, um, like, fair game that I'm going to mention is this one right here. Um, you see the wings that this little goblin lady's wearing? You can actually get those as a toy if you complete this in the allotted time. So let's see. 
It's not... It's not an overwhelmingly difficult quest to undertake. Um, however, it is still one that requires some planning. So there you go, you hit the 50 mark and you get the blazing wings. Not a particularly difficult thing to do. Um, I even messed up my route that I was gonna take and I still managed to get it no problem. Uh, there was a few close calls where I almost ran out of time just because I wanted to make the gap larger um, to make it so that I had other ones to jump off to get to other ones um, because realistically, you don't wanna just clear them out in a row um, because then if you have to go to another side, you're gonna run out. Uh, so that's why I chose the route that I did. Uh, it was just kind of one that I made up on the fly, so it might not be the most optimal. Um, I wasn't going for an optimal route, I was just going to get it done, and I did of course make it. So there you go, that's, that's all you have to do, uh, and then you get a cool transmog. Right there. So there you go. I'm assuming that most everybody at this point knows about Moonfang, um, so I'll just mention it real quick. Uh, in the Dark Moon Island, the area that I was just in where I landed after that achievement, um, there is a boss, if you want to call it that, called Moonfang. She spawns after you kill so much of the wargs or after a certain amount of time. Um, I will say you probably can't solo her, uh, but yeah, it's it's not a particularly difficult thing. You get um, Moonfang's pelt, which is worth some Dark Moon tickets. You get to transform into her and then I think there's a chance at the actual Moonfang mount um, which I've never got and then transversely the same uh, on the same kind of side of things of bosses is the Dark Moon Rabbit um, I will be going by that location in a minute but there is the Dark Moon Rabbit that you can kill that drops the Dark Moon Rabbit pet uh, definitely cancel all that one side note as I swim by if you get a chance to fish up those wreckages I always encourage you to do that because they drop uh, little ship boxes that have old mats in them as well as Rumsey Rum Black Label which if anybody doesn't know Rumsey Rum Black Label is something that a lot of twinks use because it gives a pretty substantial amount of health at the lower end so yeah finger guns I don't know why I'm obsessed with finger guns so here we go Coming up on the actual little cave that the Dark Moon Rabbit uh, likes to hide in. I, clearly he's not spawned right now. If he was, I would go in there, but he's not, so I won't, so I don't have to die. Because he will literally rip my dick off. So I know what you're thinking right now, guys. Wow, Nereve, where the fuck you going, dog? Because I know y'all talk like that. And here's what's up. So I'm going to show you something that I found out about from a friend of mine that... I know a lot, a lot, a lot of people don't know about, and I'm not even going to spoil it. I'm just going to go do it. So you notice out here in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, here we are on the map, that there's just a random shipwreck. And at first glance, it looks innocuous at best. It looks like there's just really, there's really nothing going on here, right? Just a regular old ship. But what's this? Just over the side, there is a cave entrance. 
guess what? Spoiler alert. There's something to do in this cave. Time to murder everybody. Ripping through flesh is what I do best. Suffering a rancid amputation. There you go. Find someone in the dark moon interested in the ring. Realistically, you only have to kill one. Um, but you know, I'm a completionist. I get things done. Nothing like going for a nice ride on Reginald Barrington. That's his name. That's my mouse name. Reginald Barrington. Lord Reginald Barrington of the 5th Regiment, of course. So now that you have the ring, you run it back to this guy. And now you have a new toy. So this is our new Dark Moon Fair Fall Collection, and we've run this on the walkways in Paris for Fashion Week, and we know for a fact that this is a good hit. Everybody loves our clothing line. It's amazing. Now for anybody that does not know another thing, uh, this little uh, arena right here will spawn a chest in it um, every on the third hour, so, you know, noon, three, six and nine and midnight and three six and nine and noon and three six and nine i feel like you get it here's the blacksmithing quest so for this quest all you have to do is craft four horseshoes on your thermal anvil that hopefully you have and then apply them to this horse that's it that is the extent of that, and you get five free blacksmithing skills, and of course, the four prize tickets, which are also nice. Alright. So for this is a little race that you have to do. You literally just have to run through this little box, and um, the goal is to make it to this little blue post and back uh, as quick as you can, so I'm just going to try to get it done. Um... These little spring traps will spring you in whatever direction you are facing. These little wire traps right here will uh, shock you and slow you down. That little portal will just launch you forward, which I hate it because it always messes me up. And of course, these little boots just make you run quicker. I feel like that's, that's a gimme. And then if you hit these at the right angle, they'll launch you forward. Then you just do that, and then you have to not mess up like that, and run back. There you go, and hit that one like that, and... Oh, that didn't count. Whoops. There we go. I don't actually think you have to hit these, um... These little, like, banner things. I believe they just speed you up. I think the only prerequisite was for you to hit the actual, um... Doobly Dugan like the pole thing so I wouldn't stress too terribly much um, but yeah it's not a terribly difficult thing to do it's actually not really hard at all so there you go there's that one pretty pretty non complicated and then this one over here is much of the same except for you're following a path and you do have to go through the banners that's it well guys, I hope that that was a helpful video. I hope that that at least uh, enlightened you to some new things, maybe showed you how to get a couple other things done, and um, maybe revitalized your interest in the Dark Moon Fair if you haven't been there in a while. Um, I know that there's a lot of things here that are either new or just fun to check out, so go ahead and come check out the Dark Moon Fair. Um, again, it comes around the first Sunday of the month and lasts for one week, so it is still here. Um, well, I mean, depending on when you watch this video. I hope that was helpful for you guys. I appreciate you guys watching. I really, really I do. It's been a super successful month. I hit 56 subscribers today. Uh, yeah, 56. 
and one of my videos hit 11,000 views, which is mind-boggling that I have my How to Skip Galacrass video at 11,000 views, even though it's no longer necessary. Way to kill my video count, Blizzard. D dick I'm just kidding. It's nice that you can solo him now. But anyway, there you go, guys. That's